Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we made it up to rank 22. So we're going to go over the base, the attack, the tech tree, everything that you guys need to know. Uh, moving forward a little bit, we did just get our first one of the day, so I figured we'd start the video off with a bang just like that. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it if, for those of you throwing in that code chicken in the shop. It does help me to do things like get new lights so you can see how pasty white and uh, Casper the ghost like the chicken is. So, um, yeah. So we made it to 22, we fell down a little bit, but that's all right. Um, so what was the big difference? The big difference was today we got, well, I just added the hot pots. We're gonna see how that does, but we got heavy choppers, heavy choppers, heavy choppers, heavy choppers. So I'm gonna show you how we use them. A couple different ways. Um, fairly straightforward, pretty much the same thing that uh, you know that we always do. Um, so I'm skipping laser rangers for right now. We'll see if they come on strong in the meta towards the end, they usually do. Um, but without the troop health and troop damage, um, I don't, you know, I don't see them right now and I don't think that they're very good. Um, but the next thing we want to get is we want to get to those shock bombs. Shock bombs are going to help us out tremendously. Shocking critter launchers, shocking things that are slowing us up. That's going to make a big difference. So, uh, like I said, we just added the hot pod. And I think, honestly, right now we have the tech for 23. We just got to hammer down the attack and hone in on it. Um, and then we should be good to go from there. So let's show you guys a good hit first on how we are using. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's show you how we're using. So I believe this was my. Oh, this was my. This was my boss fight, funnily enough. And I actually. Uh, I lost connection on. I lost connection and I won. How often does that happen on a boss fight? Usually it's the opposite, right? But of course, it was the first time I've lost connection. I don't even remember how long it's been. Um, it was just random. You know what it was, I think, because um, where I was playing today, uh, they have 5, uh, like it's 5G and then 5G+. plus. So I think it switched between the two during the attack, and that caused me to lose connection. So thankfully, we still ended up winning, but uh, that was annoying for sure. Now, here's the base I'm using. This is uh, General Electric's base. Um, as you can see over here, I added a couple things to it. Uh, I don't know where he was, but he was right there. Um, now, I like this one because I find these the hardest to take down. The stupid critter launchers under the sky shield in the middle of the base are such a nuisance. Um, I just started using 4-4. I was using 3-5 before. So <clears throat> I think it's a preference thing. You know, if you're more comfortable with going a little bit faster and trying 3-5 um, and risking fizzling, or if the base is nasty enough that it calls for 4-4, then um, that's what you can do. So... I think the best way to hit, and I'm still kind of figuring this out, the best way to hit is to hit the base for the front-loaded sixes from the middle, because then they kind of fan out and they go on both sides at the same time. So you can do that, or what I also had success doing was taking out, was dropping everyone on the left side, letting them take out kind of towards the middle, depending if you could flare that ER at the very end, and then I could get like decent time. So this one, let's try that hit I was just talking about. So we're gonna go one, one, two, uh, three, I didn't mean to bring uh, four heavy choppers with me, but I guess we're stuck doing it now. And let's go Kavon in here. Delay drop another one. It's all about just the delay drops, just constant delay drops. Um, and we'll save a boat of these guys for the rocket launchers at the end, because those are going to come into play. By the end, I mean by the time we get this initial, um, initial zone kind of cleared. So we'll clear it kind of up to the engine, and then we'll throw um, we'll throw another boat of doodlers in now. And what we want to have happen is we want the heavy chopper to distract all of those rocket launchers so they don't hit our bombardiers from the back like they're about to do right now. Um, okay, don't turn. Our turning's okay, I guess. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's one of them down. All right, so now we can flare them back this way. Just want to be careful not to lose all of our bombers doing this, which it looks like, oh my god, one, two. That was close. That was close. We've got a bunch of red critters we got to take down. Come on, come on. I need you healing, buddy. All right, let's go up this way. So you can do this hit. It's a little... I find it easy. Um, it's easy just to get the full clear on and not risk fizzling. Uh, you're not going to get tremendous times on it. I think the the one from the middle at the at the bottom, um, we'll do that hit next. 
uh, works. You know, uh, you, you can get a better time with it, but it's just a little bit riskier depending on um, the attack in the middle. So let's flare him up this way next. Um, okay. And I did max out the flares too. I think we need to do that now as well. If you guys haven't done that, make sure you check your flares before you start doing this attack strategy because um, having tick three flares means you're flaring again, flaring again, and you're losing those precious seconds, right? So um, that's where it's going to come in useful. Um, so, I mean, he's got us down to three. We got him down to almost two. And we've just got to be patient coming in here at the very end. This is where shocks would be really nice to have. Um, so, let's see. I think we're just going to go for it. I don't want to risk... Um, I don't want to risk him beating us on time. I would rather risk fizzling out. So, let's see. We have enough troops left that, you know, we're going to get hit by the rockets and the shocks and stuff, but... It should be able to survive it. So we'll get our artilleries down on that laser. Almost take it out. Get a little chip on that engine room. And there we go, 116. So, I mean, ideally in terms of time, we want to be above two minutes to have like a good time in this meta. But let's see. Oh, it's going to be close. No, he's got rocket travels. We got him. We got him. Okay. There we go. All right, so back to 22. This is actually the highest I've been all season, so that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Whew. We'll do one more after this for sure. Um, but yeah, I think we really need to get those shock bombs to, uh, to have a good chance. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy that we won that one. So next, that was actually not even the attack I was planning to do. I was planning on bringing 3-5. So you can do 3-5 for that one, and then the next one we'll do, we'll go 4-4 four, four with. Um, we'll take those 12 stars every single day, yes sir. Um, so yeah, the next one, this one, depending on the base, we'll go from the middle. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You basically just drop four heavy choppers and then four bombers, delay Kavan a few seconds, and then just go straight at it. And you're basically just sitting there in the critter launchers and just waiting, you know. There's not much to it, is what I'm trying to say, if we don't get the right base to, to show you. Um, it's pretty straightforward, so depending on that, um, just where the critter launchers are and if there's a sky shield in the middle, that's the biggest thing that we're looking for on these 6 ER bases. Um, the spread out ones, the wrap around ones, they're, they're pretty easy to go through. I mean, you can, um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll go 2-2 two, two on each side, depending how dirty they are, or you can go 2-3 and then 1-2, um, just depending, it, it just depends on the base. So... This one looks like it's good to do the uh, the middle attack on, so we'll try that on for uh, size right now. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2. I'm going to take down that critter launcher first if we can. We're going to delay Kavon because we don't need him just healing nothing for right now. Now we can go ahead and put him out there. And we're going to uh, use our first second wind. So that's the benefit with the 4-4 four is we're not going to lose as many heavy choppers. Uh, when you go 3-5, it is pretty common to lose one right off the bat, and then um, it, it's tough to keep them alive, um, the other ones alive, if you don't have a heavy chopper protecting them at all. So that's the that's the biggest thing. Um, I don't know what we want to do here. It's five artilleries. Let's do one quick one. Okay, I think that was worth it. You down. I don't have enough to uh, to save all these bombers. We had absolutely nobody go on that side except those bombardiers, so that kind of hurt us. Yeah, we're not going to have enough juice on that side, it looks like. So, I mean, that's the idea. It, typically, you get a better spread than that. That was a pretty unfavorable spread there. Um, not much we can do, unfortunately, but that sucks. I mean, we'll still get a somewhat decent time just going all the way around, but, um, yeah, not going to be ideal. So, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's it's a fun attack, but it's kind of boring, too, because you get to points like this where, it, like, it takes 60 seconds just for them to walk around. There's really, you know, I could flare through it, but, I don't know, we might as well just let them kind of go here. I think at this point I am going to flare, though, because that sniper tower is not going to cause us any issues. Let's move. Let's move, let's move. 
The sniper tower might hit Kavon, but that's okay. We don't really need him anymore. He can actually work greatly, great as a meat shield here. I'd be okay with that. Um, but it is nice to have healing stuff. So let's see. We don't have that many bombers that we can get like super reckless with this flaring at the very end, but um, we do need to be concerned about our time as well. It just depends how these sniper towers and stuff target things. Okay, let's go for it now. Because you see, if if we had got that one down, that would have saved us a ton of time, and we could have flared earlier, etc., etc. So, uh, let's see what we come away with here. Oh man. Okay, so we finally got it down. It looks like he's having trouble too, though. I mean, a lot of people are getting super slow times right now. Um, especially since we got shock mines, we got all the defense. I would not recommend getting shock mines, by the way. That was definitely a mistake on my part. Um, I just really, honestly, I just wanted to make sure that I hit 22 today because I'm going away for the weekend and I don't know how much uh, time I'm going to be able to dedicate to playing. So I wanted to make sure we got our rank chest uh, in advance. If it meant, you know, shock mines are going to be good. They're, they're going to be a good pickup. Um, I just, you know, I think shock bombs would have been better, but, you know, it is what it is. So um, I think it made sense for right now. And there we go. There we go. Came away with the dub. A beautiful, lovely, uh, generous seven stars. So anyways, there it is, guys. Rank 22. Hope you enjoyed the video as always. Let me know how you guys are making out down below in the comments. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Check it out. Where's my mouse?